Hello everyone, it is Tuesday, February 24th, 2015, and this is a part two video to my other video from an article in Global Research titled U.S. Government Moves on Nationwide Adult Vaccination. And I just want to reread the intro here, and then I want to talk about these objectives a little bit more closely than I did in the first video. The transnational pharmaceutical cartel will be positioning itself to profit handsomely in a federally mandated adult immunization program if it becomes law. The proposed U.S. Department of Health and Human Services policy will be implemented alongside the Obama administration's Affordable Care Act, thereby becoming a standard component of U.S. national health care policy. Published on February the 6, 2015, Amid the, quote, measles outbreak, media frenzy, the HHS is accepting public comment on its draft National Adult Immunization Plan, NAIP, until March 9, 2015. Under the NAIP, all adult American citizens will be compelled to receive current and retroactive vaccination regimens that may amount to several dozen shots per individual during their catch-up phase. Under the federally mandated immunization schedule, children presently receive 49 vaccines before the age of 6. Now I want to scroll down and I want to read these objectives. HHS lists four specific objectives in its NAIP policy. The subpoint strategies of each goal are summarized below, although it should be noted that the original document contains highly detailed strategies for achieving each. Number one, strengthen the adult immunization infrastructure. Monitor and report trends in adult vaccine preventable diseases, disease levels, and vaccination coverage data for all ACIP recommended vaccines. In cases where there are Associated Healthy People 2020 goals measure progress toward established targets. Enhance current vaccine safety monitoring systems and develop new methods to accurately and more rapidly assess vaccine safety and effectiveness in adult populations. Example given pregnant women. Well, first of all, most, most of these vaccines that are, they're pushing aren't even, they're not even working. I mean, people are talking about these flu shots, and, and, and they're not even, they don't even work. And you're pushing more of these vaccines. Continue to analyze claims filed as part of the National Vaccine Injury Compensation Program to identify potential casual links, causal links, between vaccines and adverse events. Increase the use of electronic health records and immunization information systems to collect and track adult immunization data. Well, I, for one, I don't want to be tracked. And I don't want to be tracked by electronic health records in some database somewhere in Idaho. The next one is evaluate and advance targeted quality improvement initiatives. Well, that's very vague. I don't know what that means. Generate and disseminate evidence about the health and economic impact of adult immunization, including potential disease burden, averted and cost effectiveness with the use of current vaccines. Two, improve access to adult vaccines. Objective, reduce financial barriers for individuals who receive vaccines routinely recommended for adults. Well, if it's free, you probably don't want to get it. Just a little tidbit of information there. Assess and improve understanding of providers' financial barriers to delivering vaccinations, including to stocking and administering vaccines. Expand the adult immunization provider network. Well, it's pretty expanded already. Every time I drive by the local CVS... I see a whole bunch of those signs advertising a gazillion vaccines that they have there. They have those little stick them in the ground signs that you can get your 
vaccine for the flu and your scabe not scabies, what is it, shingles vaccines. A gazillion of those things are available. So there's quite a few providers already. Ensure a reliable supply of vaccines. Well, that's hard to do. It's not even a reliable vaccine. And the ability to track vaccine inventories, including during public health emergencies. Three, this is what was, this is what kind of got me. Three, increase community demand for adult immunizations. I don't think we need to be increasing the demand. One of the objectives, educate and encourage individuals to be aware of and receive recommended adult immunizations. No, we need to be aware of and not receive them. Educate, encourage, and motivate healthcare professionals to recommend and or deliver adult vaccinations. Well, how do they motivate them to do that? I bet it's with money. Money. Push it and give them money for it. The next objective, educate and encourage other groups. This is one that really got my attention. Community and faith-based groups, tribal organizations, to promote the importance of adult immunization. Well, first of all, faith-based groups to me stand, means churches. That they want to encourage and educate churches to get people involved in these vaccination programs. And tribal organizations, like Native American organizations, well, that should send up a huge red flag because no Native American organization should trust anybody in the U.S. government. Not ever. And they shouldn't ever trust the government when they're pushing these vaccines on these, on these groups. Four, foster innovation in adult vaccine development and vaccination-related technologies. That's very ambiguous. Develop new vaccines and improve the effectiveness of existing vaccines for adults. Encourage new technologies to improve the distribution, storage, and delivery of adult vaccines. Wow. Well, I can think of, you know, they probably spray them out of airplanes on us anyway. Um, but these objectives, wow. Boy, <clears throat> they vague. And some of these are really kind of scary. But I just wanted to do this article a little bit more justice with these objectives. Um, I can tell you right now, if I went into a church and they were pushing for me to get a vaccine, I would walk out and slam the door. Churches have no business pushing vaccines on their congregation. Have a great night, everyone. Thanks for watching.